So here is a typical setup where in which you have a data center in which you have a web server hosted and assume this website is abc.com and on the other side you can see various internet subscribers. You have a Soho or home based user where in which he has his private LAN in which he is sharing internet services and you have a home user where in which he has a dedicated internet link. You have also an enterprise or an office subscribed to internet services and you have a mobile user getting connectivity to the internet services. Now assume a user requesting a page from the website abc.com. After a successful DNS request, he gets his requested page from the web server to his web client or his browser. The same thing happens over and over again to all the pages of that web server requested from various internet clients. This is what happens in a scenario where in which there is a user without a content distribution network. Now we see another scenario where in which the user is actually subscribed to a CDN or a content distribution network services. So as a part of deployment, you have a CDN server or a CDN caching server situated at various strategic locations across internet. This sort of CDN service is usually provided by third party vendors like a CDN service provider. Now let me demonstrate you the similar page read in a CDN enabled website services. If the requested page is not existing in the caching servers, the page will be stored upon the first request of the user. On every subsequent read, the page will be actually fed from the caching servers directly to its users. In this way, you can get a great significant amount of optimization since all the pages read from the users within the ISP providers at the edge will get actually pages fed from the caching servers and whenever there is a cache miss, the page will be fed from the actual website or the web server which is the source. So a CDN enabled internet services can guarantee both the performance or the load balancing factors as well as the overall system uptime. It also reduces the load on the source web server thereby making it possible to serve to greater amount of internet users at any given point of time.